Canada, Land of Moose, Mounties, and Justin Trudeau. It's no secret that Canadians have a soft spot for us Brits. Maybe it's our shared love of tea, or perhaps they're just terribly polite and haven't the heart to tell us otherwise. Whatever the reason, the UK and Canada have a bit of a special relationship, kind of like that cousin you only see at weddings but always have a good natter with. And speaking of good relations, did you know that nearly 4 million Canadians claim British ancestry? That's like the entire population of Ireland popping over for a chinwag. But it's not just about shared history, oh no. Canada offers some rather tempting perks for UK citizens, like straightforward visa options and a relatively easy path to citizenship. Plus, their healthcare system won't leave you needing to sell your granny's silver to afford a doctor's appointment. So, if you're looking for a home away from home, with stunning scenery, a welcoming atmosphere, and maybe a side of poutine, Canada might just be the place for you. Now, before you pack your bags and hop on the next flight to Toronto, let's have a quick chat about what to expect when you land in the Great White North. First things first, brush up on your EHS and a boots because you'll be hearing them a lot. Canadians are a friendly bunch, always up for a chat, especially if it involves hockey or complaining about the weather. And speaking of weather, be prepared for some extreme temperatures. Think glorious summers perfect for cottaging and winters that will have you reaching for your warmest woolly jumpers. But don't let the cold scare you off. Canada is a country of incredible natural beauty, from the majestic Rocky Mountains to the rugged coastlines of Nova Scotia. And with vibrant cities like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal, there's something for everyone. So whether you're a nature enthusiast, a city slicker, or just looking for a warm welcome, pun intended, Canada is definitely worth adding to your travel list. Next up on our global adventure, we're heading down under to the land of sunshine, shrimp on the barbie, and more accents than you can shake a stick at. That's right, it's Australia. Now I know what you're thinking. Graham, isn't that where they sent all the criminals back in the day? Well, yes, there was that little historical hiccup. But let's not dwell on the past, shall we? After all, everyone deserves a second chance, even an entire continent. These days, Australia has shaken off its convict past and transformed into a multicultural melting pot with a relaxed vibe and a love of all things outdoors. And guess what? They're rather fond of us Brits. Maybe it's the shared language, the love of cricket, or perhaps they're just impressed we managed to navigate our way there without getting lost. Whatever the reason, Australians have a knack for making you feel right at home, even if home involves dodging spiders the size of your hand. Now listen, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Australia is a wild and wonderful place full of creatures that can kill you, from deadly snakes to venomous spiders to sharks that could give Jaws a run for his money. But don't let that put you off. Australia is also home to some of the most stunning natural wonders on the planet, from the iconic Sydney Opera House to the Great Barrier Reef, a place so beautiful it'll make you want to weep into your snorkel. And if lounging on pristine beaches isn't your thing, don't worry. Australia has something for everyone, from bustling cities to rugged outback adventures. You can go trekking through ancient rainforests, learn to surf at Bondi Beach, or even try your hand at kangaroo wrestling. Okay, maybe not that last one, but you get the idea. Australia is a country that begs to be explored, so pack your sense of adventure and maybe some insect repellent and get ready for an unforgettable experience. And at number three, it's New Zealand. Now you might be thinking, New Zealand, isn't that just a smaller, sheepier version of Australia? And you know, you wouldn't be entirely wrong, darling. They do love their sheep. But what New Zealand lacks in size, it more than makes up for in heart. The Kiwis, as they're affectionately known, are some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. They're like the neighbors who always bring you a plate of biscuits when you move in, except they'll invite you over for a barbecue and a game of rugby too. And they'll probably introduce you to their pet sheep, Sharon, who just happens to be excellent at knitting. But it's not just the people that make New Zealand so welcoming. It's the stunning scenery, the adventurous spirit, and the fact that you can practically trip over a hobbit hole if you're not careful. From the Southern Alps to the Milford Sound, New Zealand is like a postcard come to life. So if you're looking for a warm welcome in a country that's as beautiful as it is friendly, pack your bags and hop on a plane to New Zealand. Just uh, try not to mention the rugby score to any Australians, all right? Now I know what you're thinking. New Zealand? That's where they filmed Lord of the Rings, right? And yes, while they're very proud of their cinematic achievements, New Zealand is so much more than just a backdrop for hobbits and elves. For one thing, their accent is simply delightful. It's like listening to a choir of angels who've just discovered the joys of a good cuppa. And their sense of humor? 
let's just say they appreciate a good self-deprecating joke as much as the next person. But beyond the charming accents and quirky humor, New Zealand offers a fantastic quality of life. It consistently ranks highly in global surveys for its healthcare, education, and overall well-being. Plus, with its low crime rates and relaxed pace of life, it's the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle. So, whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time explorer, New Zealand is a destination that should be on everyone's bucket list. Right, at number four, we've got Spain. Now, who doesn't love a bit of Spain? The sunshine, the beaches, the sangria, it's enough to make you want to pack your bags and say adios to the British weather forever. And let's be honest, we Brits have always had a bit of a soft spot for Spain, haven't we? It's practically our second home. We flock there for our holidays, we retire there. We even try to smuggle their delicious ham back in our suitcases. Though I wouldn't recommend that last one, darling. Customs can be a right nightmare. But what makes Spain so welcoming to us Brits? Well, for starters, the Spanish people are incredibly warm and friendly. They're always up for a chat, they love a good fiesta, and they're not afraid to shower you with compliments, even if your Spanish is more hola than Cervantes. Plus, let's not forget the food. Tapas, paella, patadas, bravas, every meal in Spain is a celebration of life. And the best part, you can enjoy it all al fresco, basking in the glorious sunshine with a glass of something chilled and delicious. Honestly, what's not to love? Now, I know what you're thinking. Graham, Spain's great for a holiday, but could I really live there? And the answer, my friend, is a resounding sigh. Because Spain has so much more to offer than just sun, sea, and sangria. For one thing, it's steeped in history and culture. From the Alhambra in Granada to the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, Spain is home to some of the most iconic architectural marvels in the world. And let's not forget the art. Picasso, Dali, Goya, Spain has produced some of the most influential artists of all time. But it's not all about the past, darling. Spain is also a modern and vibrant country with a thriving economy and a fantastic quality of life. And with its excellent healthcare system and affordable cost of living, it's no wonder so many Brits are choosing to make Spain their permanent home. So if you're looking for a country that offers the perfect blend of sunshine, culture, and a warm welcome, look no further than Spain. Just be prepared to learn a few Spanish phrases, embrace the siesta lifestyle, and maybe invest in a good pair of dancing shoes. You'll be salsaing in the streets in no time. And at number five, it's the charming, the delightful, the often overlooked Portugal. Now, I know what you're thinking, Portugal? Isn't that just Spain's quieter little sibling? And you know, in some ways you'd be right. They share a border, a love of good food, and a talent for producing excellent footballers. But to compare Portugal to Spain is like comparing a fine port to a glass of Rioja, both delicious, but with distinctly different flavors. Portugal has a unique charm, a laid-back atmosphere, and a certain je ne sais quoi that makes it utterly irresistible. The Portuguese people, much like their famous custard tarts, are warm, sweet, and incredibly welcoming. They're always happy to help a lost tourist find their way or recommend the best local eatery. And speaking of food, have I mentioned the food? Forget tapas, darling. In Portugal, it's all about the petiscos, small, flavorful dishes that are perfect for sharing. But it's not just the food and the people that make Portugal so special. It's the stunning coastline, the rolling hills dotted with vineyards, and the charming cities steeped in history. From the cobbled streets of Lisbon to the canals of Aveiro, Portugal is a feast for the senses. Now let's talk practicality, shall we? Because one of the things that makes Portugal particularly appealing to UK citizens is its visa process, or lack thereof. Thanks to the joys of Brexit, we can no longer just swan about Europe as we please. But fear not, my friends, because Portugal has rolled out the welcome mat for us Brits. They've made it easier than ever for us to live, work, and retire in their sunny paradise. And who can blame them? We bring our charming accents, our love of a good cuppa, and of course, our insatiable appetite for pastel de nata. But it's not just the easy visa process that makes Portugal a great place to relocate. The cost of living is significantly lower than in the UK, meaning your pounds will stretch further. And let's not forget the glorious weather. Imagine swapping those dreary British winters for sunny days spent exploring vineyards or lounging on the beach. So, if you're looking for a country that offers a relaxed lifestyle, a welcoming atmosphere, and a healthy dose of sunshine, Portugal is calling your name.
And now for number six, we're off to the Emerald Isle, Ireland. Now, Ireland and the UK, well, let's just say their relationship has had its ups and downs over the years. A bit like siblings who borrow each other's clothes without asking. But you know what? Despite the historical baggage, the Irish are known for their warmth and hospitality. They'll welcome you with open arms, a pint of Guinness, and probably a bit of crack, which is Irish for a good time. And let's not forget the rolling green hills, the charming villages, and the sound of traditional Irish music filling the air. It's enough to make anyone feel right at home. So, if you're looking for a taste of home with a Celtic twist, Ireland might just be the place for you. Just try not to start any debates about the history, all right? Some things are best left in the past. One of the best things about Ireland for UK citizens is how easy it is to blend in. I mean, they practically speak the same language. Well, except for a few words like crack and we, but you'll pick those up in no time. Plus, with a similar culture and shared sense of humor, you'll be cracking jokes with the locals before you know it. They might even mistake you for one of their own. Just try not to get too sunburned. You wouldn't want to stand out too much, would you? But in all seriousness, Ireland offers UK citizens a seamless transition. There are no visa requirements, you can work freely, and the healthcare system is pretty similar. So whether you're looking for a temporary change of scenery or a permanent move, Ireland has got you covered. Just don't forget your umbrella. You'll need it. Next up at number seven, we're hopping over to Germany, the land of efficiency, order, and let's not forget, fantastic beer gardens. Now you might be thinking, Germany, aren't they a bit, well, serious? And you know what? You're not entirely wrong. Germans take their rules seriously, but they also know how to have a good time. They just do it in a very organized and punctual fashion, of course. But don't let that fool you. Beneath that efficient exterior lies a warm and welcoming heart. Germans are incredibly friendly and helpful, especially if you make an effort to speak a bit of the language. Even if it's just Guten Tag and Dankeschön, they'll appreciate the effort, I promise. Plus, with its stunning scenery, from the Bavarian Alps to the Black Forest and its rich history and culture, Germany has something to offer everyone. And did I mention the beer? Oh, the beer. Now let's talk about quality of life because Germany really shines in this department. They've got it all figured out. Fantastic healthcare, excellent public transport, and a strong economy. It's no wonder so many people are packing their bags and heading to Germany. And for UK citizens, it's a particularly attractive option. The visa process is relatively straightforward and there are plenty of job opportunities, especially if you're in the engineering or technology sectors. But it's not all work and no play in Germany. They value their work-life balance with plenty of time for leisure and relaxation. Whether you're into hiking, cycling, or simply enjoying a coffee and cake in a charming cafe, Germany has got you covered. So if you're looking for a country that offers a high quality of life, a welcoming atmosphere, and maybe even a chance to brush up on your German, then look no further than Deutschland. Just don't forget to pack your lederhosen. You never know when you might need them. Coming in at number eight, we're off to sunny Italy. Ah, Italy, the land of pasta, pizza, and let's be honest, some of the most handsome men in the world. But Italy is much more than just delicious food and good looks, darling. It's a country steeped in history, culture, and art. From the ancient ruins of Rome to the Renaissance masterpieces of Florence, Italy is a feast for the senses. And let's not forget about those stunning beaches, the crystal clear waters, and the charming villages perched precariously on cliffs. It's enough to make you want to pack your bags and say, ciao bella, to your old life. And the best part, Italians are incredibly welcoming and friendly, especially if you attempt to speak a little Italian. Even a simple buongiorno can go a long way. They appreciate the effort, even if your pronunciation is more mamma mia than grazie mille. Now, you might be thinking, is Italy really that welcoming to UK citizens after Brexit? And you know what? You might be surprised. While the visa process has become a tad more complicated, it hasn't dampened Italy's love affair with the British. Italians are used to welcoming visitors from all over the world, and they're not about to stop now. Plus, with a large expat community already thriving in Italy, you'll find plenty of support and advice on navigating the ins and outs of Italian life. From finding a flat to ordering the perfect cappuccino, you'll have a network of people ready to help you adjust. So if you're dreaming of a life filled with sunshine, delicious food, and a bit of Italian charm, then Italy might just be the place for you. Just be prepared to loosen your belt a notch or two. Those pizzas are irresistible. 
Right. Number nine might not be much of a surprise, is it? The good old US of A? It's like that big loud relative you don't always get to see, but you always end up having a good chin wag with when you do. And for Brits looking for a bit of a change, a bit of that go big or go home energy, well, America's got it in spades. From the bright lights of New York City to the sunny beaches of California, it's a land of diverse landscapes and even more diverse people. Plus, let's not forget, their economy isn't half bad either. Now, I'm not saying it's all sunshine and rainbows, but there's a reason they call it the land of opportunity. Now, of course, getting your foot in the door can be a bit trickier than just hopping on a plane with your good old British passport. Visas, my word. Don't get me started on the visas. But there are plenty of resources and avenues for Brits looking to make the leap, whether it's for work, love, or just a good old-fashioned adventure. And once you're there, you'll find a whole lot of familiar faces. There's a reason they say Americans and Brits are separated by a common language, isn't there? You'll be chatting about telly and queuing up for fish and chips, or should I say fries, in no time. Finally, we come to number 10 on our list, the Netherlands. Now, when you think of the Netherlands, you might think of windmills, tulips, and maybe even a bit of cheese. And while they've certainly got all those things in abundance, seriously, have you ever seen so many bicycles? The Netherlands has so much more to offer, especially for us Brits. For one, it's incredibly welcoming. The Dutch are known for being incredibly friendly and open, and their English is, dare I say, even better than some parts of the UK. So you'll have no trouble finding your way around or having a good natter with the locals, but it's not just the language, it's the whole vibe. The Netherlands has a very similar feel to the UK in many ways, a strong sense of community, a love of a good pub, or should I say brown cafe, and a dry sense of humor that'll have you feeling right at home. Plus, Amsterdam, the capital, is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. It's a vibrant, cosmopolitan city with canals, museums, and a certain herbal aroma that you might find familiar. Just, uh, maybe lay off the bicycles after a visit to certain coffee shops, all right? Don't want you ending up in a canal. All in all, the Netherlands is a fantastic option for Brits looking for a welcoming and exciting new home, or even just a brilliant holiday destination. Well, there you have it. 10 fantastic countries where us Brits are welcomed with open arms. From the sunny shores of Australia to the bustling streets of New York City, there's a whole world out there just waiting to be explored. So dust off your passport, pack your bags, and get ready for an adventure. Who knows, you might even find your new favorite destination. Thanks for watching.